YouTube, this is Dennis, and then today we're going to talk about how you can generate uh, HTML boilerplate inside your VS Code. Uh, so, for example, if we create a new file and we uh, save this as an index.html, you can put it in the desktop. Uh, basically, what it is is uh, if you're typing like your exclamation tab and it's not working, which is the normal shortcut, uh, then you're not getting any boilerplate. Uh, so what I'm talking about is in uh, Sublime, for example, if you do uh, HTML tab, and this comes up, right? This is the starter skeleton for your uh, HTML page. But if you're not getting that, again, exclamation tab, or if you're doing HTML tab, you know, that's just something else. Uh, then here's, I have a solution for you. Okay, so what you need to do is, uh, and I'll link an article I found. It's actually this one, uh, which talks about how you can get a HTML boilerplate. Uh, basically, they uh, give you the solution like right down here. Where you're supposed to do uh, Control Shift P and look for this trigger expansion on tab. So we're going to find this right now. So on Mac, do a Command Shift P. Okay, you're going to open your user settings. So that's the first option, user settings. And now what we're going to do is type in Emmet. Okay, and what Emmet is is a sort of a suggester for your IntelliSense. It gives you like uh, right here, it shows you abbreviation suggestions. Uh, all the way at the bottom of this list, you're going to see uh, trigger expansion on tab. Uh, when enabled, Emmet abbreviations are expanded. So this is going to help you with HTML. If you're having uh, issues with other IntelliSense, you can choose the option above it, which says uh, show suggestions as snippets. That's also good to check. So I would definitely have these last two options checked for Emmet. If we go back to our index HTML, do an exclamation tab, there we go. There is our default uh, starter uh, HTML boilerplate. And that's it.